many goals with him, but when I'm doing something like this, touch, and the end goal is ultimately settle, then I want to stop him from getting into this kind of what are we do, what are we do, what are we doing, what are we doing, training mode, because settle is the end goal. We're just working on stay as a, a icing on top, cherry on top, whatever. Touch, stay. So I need him to calm back down. And all that happened that he got amped up was I did a few touch, 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 and you know, to make it exciting, put some variety in, but he's lost his focus a little bit. Totally understandable. Touch, stay. So I'm trying to show him whether I go sit on the couch or walk towards the door. I still would like him to stay in the same spot, and that one is tough for him right now. And that's good information. Stay. Awesome. Okay, so if we can get you to the door and to the couch while he's in a stay, then that's just another tool in your toolbox. You would obviously not wait until he's already jumping up and biting to cue a stay because you're never going to get it then. But this is just another tool for encouraging that settle out here. And it's just gotten better every single time we've tried it. And we haven't done much today. I purposely didn't do a lot of the playing in the backyard to get him tired because stay. Um, Mm, who's that walking by? Good boy. Okay, so I just walked to the other couch. Um, just because I wanted him at, at pretty full energy for this part of it. Good. Okay, take a break. And then, so I went to the door and opened it. Duncan, find it. And then I went to that couch and sat down. And now I'm going to get him more in the corner of the rug where we started. <laughs> well, okay, it's hard to film and do this, but you get the point stay. And now I'm going to sit on this couch, drink some coffee, write some notes. So he's settled and it's not the same as passive settle. Okay. This is like a trained down stay. Um, there are many times when you could use this. If you have to, this would be the times when you say things like, um, when the water's boiling, I want to go do something real quick, or I have to get up and go to the bathroom, but you know, he's finally calm. This is where the tether could come in handy because I could have that tethered here. I just haven't had to. Okay. I could do that proactively. I could cue a stay. I could work on that to the point where he's very good at it and I can get to the door. But then if I really have to go do something and I haven't trained it up good enough and he does get up and break the stay, he's still on that tether. So still no hard contact with you. He's still succeeding. So it's a win-win and it's like the tether is our backup just in case while we train the other stuff, the settle and the stay. Of course, we'll talk about all this. This was just a really good day to get some of this on video. Okay.